Hello friends, let's look at this permutations problem. The problem statement is like this. Tanya prepared four different letters to be sent to four different addresses. So here as you can see, there are four letters L1, L2, L3, which have to, has to go to either A, A1, A2, A3 or A4. For each letter, she prepared an envelope with its correct address. Like Right like here, we are showing an envelopes with correct addresses. If the four letters are to be put into the four envelopes at random, we are just putting randomly the letter into any any envelope, right? So L1 can go to A1, L1 can go to A2, A3, A4. Similarly for other letters, they can be put into any envelope. What is the probability that only one letter will be put into the envelope with its correct address, right? So only, so what will be our favorable cases? Our favorable cases will be L1 goes to A1 or L2 goes to A2 or just note the word or right so only one of the letter will be put in the envelope with its correct address so uh, L1 can go to A1 and the other threes will not go to their corresponding envelope and as you can see here in the first case here right Similarly, if L2 is put into A2, the other three letters will go into different addresses. Similarly, if L3 is put into A3, the other three letters will go to different envelopes, similarly for L4. So now let's see, in if we have put L1 into A1, so we are left with three letters, L2, L3, L4, and three envelopes, A2, A3, A4. So, but they, these three letters, they have not to go they are not going to go into the corresponding envelope, right? So L2 can go only to A3 or A4. So for the first case, let's say L2 goes to A3, L2 goes to A3. So what options are left for L3? Can L3 go to A2? No, because if L3 goes to A2, then L4 will have only one option A4, which is not right because only one letter we are considering a case where only one letter will go to the correct envelope so l4 will go to a2 as we have mentioned here and l3 will go to a4 right so these three letters are going to different envelopes similarly in the second case if l2 goes to a4 right then what is, what are the options for l4 L4 can go through, go to A2 or A3. But if L4 goes to A2, then L3 will have to go to A3. So we have to put L4 into A3. L4 into A3 and L3 will go to A2, right? So all the cases got covered, right? These are the cases when L1 is going to its corresponding correct envelope. These are the possibilities for the other three letters, right? So similarly, let, let's consider the second case, right? Let me change the pen here. So if my L2 is going to A2, now this is correct, L2 goes to A2. So what are the options for L1 left? L1 has option, L1 can't go to A1, but L1 can go to A3 and A4. So let's, let's say we put L1 into A3 in first case and L1 into A4 into the second case. So if L1 goes to A3, L4 will go to, L4 can't go to A4, L4 will go to A1, right? A2 was already occupied with L2. So L4 will go to A1, L3 will go to, L3 has only one option left, A4. L3 will go to A4. Similarly, you can complete for the other. Now, we were, like while actually solving the problem, we were not required to consider this case, right? Because the first scenario, when we put L1 into A1, right, and we figured out that there are total two possibilities, two different cases will be there. Now, all the letters are the cases if something has some, uh, something happened for L1 and A1, same thing should happen for L2, L3 and L4 when we are considering their cases. Right, so we were not required to do all these calculations, right? 
similarly are, are you getting me we were not required to do these calculations because this is a symmetrical situation right for all the four letters whatever happens for l1 a1 the same scenario same number of cases will happen for l2 a2 same scenarios will happen for l3 a3 case same will happen for l4 a4 so these these were two cases two cases will happen for l2 a2 two cases will happen for l3 a3 even you can do the calculations right here you will see for yourself that only two cases will be possible for all these because these are mutually exclusive and symmetrical situation so you have to figure out in the problem if you see some symmetry whatever calculations you can avoid right if you are in doing gmat or some other competitive high speed exam so you you have to look for symmetry you can look for symmetry in permutation problem also you can look for symmetry in any mathematical problem right just that way you can avoid solving it for a longer time so so total number of cases are eight coming back to the problem now what uh, these are the favorable cases right because we were required only one letter will be put into the envelope with its correct address now what are the total number of ways let's say we have four letters and we have four envelopes four envelopes means we have to fill four places right so the first envelope in first envelope we can put the first envelope with address a1 we can put l1 or l2 or l3 or l4 right so first envelope can be filled in four ways and the second envelope can be filled in the one first got filled with one letter so for second envelope i have three letters left so it can be filled in three ways the third one can be filled in two ways because we are left with two letters the last one can only be filled in one way because we are left with one letter so the total number of ways comes out to be 24 so our answer will be so probability of uh, probability answer will be favorable cases by total cases so 8 are favorable 24 total so 1 by 3 is the answer so the answer is t for this problem thank you so much for watching uh, if you like please subscribe my channel and share with your friends and family thank you so much for watching have a great time